Can you say Lucas Gabriš for you? Make it easy, Lucas Gabriš. I am from Slovakia. I live in Britain for the last seven years. And I basically left my country because I was limited with the funds and I could not afford to be a bodybuilder. So obviously, uh, I was planning to go to Germany and end up going to England. Basically, Ireland first for three months. So this is really familiar to me. And then I moved over to England where I continued uh, working, training, and fulfilling my dream to become a good amateur bodybuilder. Uh, obviously, I could afford, because of the work, I could afford my supplementation and uh, was able to compete and afford stuff I couldn't afford at home because many of you don't know how it is in the countries where we're from. We struggle to get money together for the membership. So, <laughs> so uh, basically, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased that I can can be here and uh, fulfill my dream to be a bodybuilder. Uh, it was trouble in the beginning, as everybody knows. You come to a foreign country, uh, you look for a job, you find a job. But I never stopped training. I always continue, never miss out the training because this is my passion, this is my true love. So uh, I continue training and uh, entered my first show, Nava Northwest, after meeting uh, a guy called Billy Jones. Uh, seven weeks before the show, he said, uh, get ready. I got ready and I won. So I hooked up again uh, with, the, with the right people and started competing in Nava. And since then, I uh, competed successfully and won a few little titles and competed internationally. And for the last four years, I competed in the Miss Universe and every time I competed, I came to the final. Um, at the moment, my current sponsor, is USN. I worked with USN for three and a half years since 2008 where I succeeded on um, most of my shows I entered apart from Universe I won. So there was four shows in a room which I won and then uh, I got noticed by a manager on uh, Mr. England when I won the award all and uh, he gave, so it was a coincidence, my friend sat next to him, uh, gave him a car, told him give the boy a ring and uh, that's how the boy took me a ring and since then I've been sponsored. Um, I had the opportunity to be with USN. I won't say call it lucky, I worked hard, but obviously I've got the sponsorship now, so I travel around, expose, uh, enjoy my life as a bodybuilder, and uh, I'm blessed to have uh, all sorts of supplements and travel. So, um, what else could I tell you? How did you like it today? Who saw me training? <laughs> Who saw me training? I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank you that, uh, that you that you came to support me and I had the opportunity to be here because obviously loads of amateur bodybuilders don't get the opportunity to do seminars in the first place. I'd like to thank Catherine <laughs> and Richard because they uh, helped me to get a seminar uh, coming as well. So, um, I mean, there is not much I can talk you know, about bodybuilding because obviously everybody of you uh, is involved with the sport, you know, they know how it's going, you know, the shows and all the rest. But uh, I'm ready and you can start bombarding me with questions about food, nutrition, training, uh, anything, anything you just wish and uh, I hope I will answer as much as I can. Okay, so, so I have a first question, Lucas. Yeah. What was your body weight on the first competition? When was that and what is about it right now comparing to the, to the first show? Okay. <laughs> Uh, first time I competed when I was 18 years old in the Slovakian Championships and that's where I basically fall in love with the bodybuilding. I got third, I weighed 90 kilo, by the same height I am now, I was skinny, I was skinny. When I started training first time, uh, ever joined the gym when I was 54 kilo. So I was 9 stone to 3 pound, something, yeah, something like that, for very very skinny. Long, for how long did you increase that weight? You know? Well, as, as, as every boy, you know, you start with doing some push-ups and some sit-ups at home and it's pathetic, you know, you don't gain weight as well. As I said, I couldn't afford the proper nutrition and uh, it was just, you know, just training and I couldn't improve. And then, um, when I was about 16, yeah, 16 years old and a guy from a gym who was training other athletes, uh, he said, hey, there's something about you, you should go and prepare for the juniors. So since then, I seriously started training not just my upper body and my stomach every day, 
uh, but started to train my lower body and uh, started working in the overall balance of the physique and then I joined the juniors when I was 18 years old. But you said that it was 54 kg right when you was started yes. training and then the first show you was already 90 kilos. 90 kilos so yeah. what is the time, what was the time between that? Uh, four and a half years. Four and a half. So, so from 54 kilo, I got up to, uh, I think, 205 kilo in off season, and then I had to put down 15 kilo. Obviously, you enter the first show, uh, it's hit and miss, you know. So basically, I wasn't in the perfect condition, but I was lean, you know, and I got placed. And it was my in my hometown, and it was really emotional. So since then, I just uh, I knew this is good. This is gonna be my life, you know. Even though many people didn't think so. But I'm here. <laughs> so and so that was your body weight on the beginning, the 90 kilos on the first show. What is your body weight right now? Uh, on the competition, by the way. On the, on the competition, I was uh, at the universe. I was 110 kilos. 110 kilos. So I uh, basically doubled my body weight in the lean muscle in 12 years. And off season, I was 132 kilos, which is nearly 20 pounds still. But obviously, I'm a different frame to many other guys. So talking about weight, uh, it's individual. You know, I'm a, I'm a slim bone structure, slim hip. So uh, my body weight is completely different than someone else's who's got thicker bones, a wider waist. I'm, I'm six foot one and my in, I'm 30 inch waist on the show and smaller, probably a little bit. So that's the difference. So 110 kilo weight in the universe. And who's coaching you right now? Uh, it's a little secret. I can't tell you who's coaching me right now. I can tell you who helped me with my preparation for the universe. Right. It's uh, John Hudson. So whoever um, you know struggles uh, to get ready for the show, uh, I think it's a really good person to go and see. Uh, he's got loads of knowledge. It's it's not um, it's not somebody who doesn't know what I'm talking about. He's got experience with many uh, many many athletes throughout the years. For like last 20 years, he prepped girls, boys, different shapes and sizes, and uh, everybody succeeded and got in the perfect condition. So um, it was. Uh, it was really, really big pleasure for me to work with him. Opportunity because he's a hardcore man. He doesn't forgive you, no nothing, not a single rap, and not, you can have a, uh, I don't know, you can have a even bite of an apple extra with him. So it was, it was really, really good for me. This is what I need when I prepare for the show. I'm a machine anyway, but when, I, when, when you have a coach like that, it multiplies. It doesn't allow you nothing extra. So um, John Hudson. So thank John Hudson that he helped me to get in the best shape I ever been. Uh, right now it's something, someone new. <laughs> right now I'm working with somebody new. I try to keep the uh, low. I try to keep my profile low for this year. Not on a uh, stay with my feet on the ground and uh, stay humble because uh, in bodybuilding you open your mouth uh, uh, in the wrong time in the wrong place and your placing on the show can be completely changed, completely different. It's just simply because you said something or something like that. So this time I don't even want to say what my plans are for this year. I don't want to say who is coaching me. I'm, I'm happy to share anything else. Just this, this is just my little secret for now. And let's, well, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me um, as soon as I'm on the stage. So that what counts. Any other questions? There's just one person. Are you shy? I don't. <laughs> And I want to ask you, where do you get all your motivation? I know you basically, you got, you, you weren't always happy with the result on the stage. I, I believe that you were disappointed many times. So, did you ever think about to give up? Yes, this year. This year? This year. Not giving up bodybuilding, but as I said, you gotta watch your mom. But I was thinking to give up uh, Naba Universe and basically compete in different association, but uh, I just thought I'm gonna give it a go one more year. I uh, after the results this year, I was devastated. So I thought I'm gonna give up, but a person who I don't want to mention convinced me to do it one more year. He said I've got a I've got a uh, special shape, and he said uh, I deserve to win. So uh, yeah. So if that will happen once again the next year, please not. What if will happen? You will change the federation? Will you change the federation? <sighs> if somebody kicks you in the ass once, what are you gonna do? You can accept it, no? And if you get kick ass in the ass, kick kicking the ass a few times, then obviously uh, you can't be that stupid. 
so you realize they don't want me here, something bad about me. You know, some people might think you're arrogant just purely because you don't talk to them. You know, so I, I, I would definitely consider uh, changing association if uh, if they don't appreciate my talent and uh, the passion and what I do for the sport. That, that's a reality check. Many athletes know how it feels. What's next, Shari? The world, the world. That's what I said, it's a secret. <laughs> because if I say I want to do the Napa Worlds, then I'm screwed already. You know what I mean? All I can say, I will definitely pre prepare for the, the universe next year. If I say I prepare for the Napa Worlds, then the, I can see the judging base already being <laughs> No, it was a joke, but you know, as I said, uh, the, the plan goes from where I'm now because I had a really bad off season with my arm and I'm only just getting myself back together. So I'll see the shape I'm going to be in and if I'm in a good shape and I keep my body fat low, what I decided to do now after this show, uh, then I might think about doing both seasons. What's your current body weight? Your body weight? Who? Are you doing, you know, it's a good question because I didn't weigh myself for a few days. So uh, I, I believe I, I gained a stone since the universe, so probably 18 and a half stone. I don't know. It's, 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 diffi it's difficult to say. It's difficult to say because obviously my, my carbohydrate and sodium intake is much higher than it used to be. So my body weight, uh, my body weight is, is flying up and down. During the day, I can gain up to uh, nine, ten pounds, and then everything goes down in the morning. So it's just. You know. I was saying you look very thin, but still. Like, yeah, that was what I decided to do as well with, with the with the um, chat with my new coach. He said there is no point. Uh, after the show, uh, you get a crazy rebound, which many people do know how it feels, it's horrible. Uh, you used to gain 15 kilo within 10 days, you know, I was just mad. So I decided to eat some stuff, something nice for 2-3 days after the show and then back to my clean diet and doing cardio in the morning and it paid off, I feel great. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I, still, I believe that you still measure all your food, uh, so could you tell us what is your current diet right now, like how many meals, how many carbs, protein? right now yeah again the, the new diet was given to me by a new coach uh, I eat six meals a day um, I even eat carbohydrate before I go to bed so my first meal of the day is uh, egg whites uh, 12 egg whites with four yolks um, with 10 rice cakes and I, I have my egg whites with spinach or green beans make it like an omelette 100 grams of oats with uh, 30 grams of raisins so it's about 140 grams of carbohydrates and about 55 grams of protein and some healthy fats, obviously. Uh, second meal will be chicken, 250 grams of chicken breast with 400 grams of potato and, and some broccoli and some steamed carrots. It's, um, as I said, my diet was changed. I used to eat more protein. Now it's balanced out. I have some, uh, some uh, healthy fats, more of healthy fats in my diet and a little bit more carbohydrates and a little bit less protein. I was overeating on protein and many people tend to gain fat even from lean protein sources. So you gotta, you gotta uh, balance out your diet properly uh, with the right ratio so it works. Uh, third meal would be uh, extra lean beef, again 250 grams, I try to keep the portions around 50 grams per meal. Uh, of protein uh, with 100 grams of basmati rice and some greens, either broccoli or uh, green beans again. And I'm using for spices. You know, uh, don't use much salt, but I definitely make sure I use some spices. You know, so it's not too blunt, 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 plain. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, then most probably will be a workout. If there would be no workout, it would be another chicken meal. Which would be, which would be uh, again, potato, uh, 400 grams with uh, 250 grams of uh, chicken breast and some greens. Then I would be in a gym. Uh, during the training, I uh, drink uh, BCAAs, like a power punch uh, product from uh, USN, my sponsors. Uh, so basically, I protect the muscle already during the workout. I might use some pre-workout drinks, but it's not necessary. Personally, old school, black coffee, apple, yeah? Um, and obviously before cardio, you, it depends. If you do all volume training, I would prefer orange. If you do heavy, then I do uh, Post-workout, I will have uh, 60 grams of whey protein with a banana and 40 grams of raisins 
Yeah, I'll make sure there is at least a ratio between uh, the protein and carbohydrate of one to one and a half, up to two. Depends how intense the workout is. Because my training routine now is uh, is three days on, uh, one day off, three days on, one day off, and uh, one one week I train big muscle groups light, and uh, and one I do big muscle groups heavy, and then small muscle group light, small muscle group heavy. So today we did the chest, which was volume, superset, uh, and then heavy biceps. Obviously next week would be heavy chest and light biceps with the supersets. Uh, so after the, one hour after the shake uh, with my raisins and banana, I'll have uh, another chicken meal. Uh, again, potato, whatever. Maybe boring, but that's bodybuilding food. You might vary with the rice, depends how you feel. Uh, next meal would be uh, product called IGF-1 pure protein, which is from USN. Uh, it's a five different types of five different uh, protein. It's it's a good slow release protein blend, and I mix it with my oats and some flax seeds or some peanut butter, just to make sure I get some healthy fats. And it's about 120 grams of oats. So I'm still trying to keep my carbohydrates low because after the show, it's time to gain weight very easy. At night time, depends again if I train legs, if it was heavy. If it was intense, if I'm tired, if I'm flat, depends. I might have carbs even before I go to bed with, again, protein, uh, slow release protein with some oats, about another 100 grams. If not, then I just have a protein with peanut butter or some flax seeds. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm using loads of BCAA and L glutamine. BCAA first thing in the morning with L glutamine, then I do my cardio, get home, grams. go home. I eat 15 grams of glutamine. Uh, and about 10 grams of BCA first thing in the morning, then obviously after the cardio, I hit the food. Before training, um, depends if I drink the uh, BCA and L glutamine drink during the training, then, uh, uh, then I don't have L glutamine and BCA before training. Uh, if I don't have that drink with me, I take amino acids and L glutamine before training, after training, and then wait for another 10 minutes and then have my whey protein with my simple carbs. Uh, post post workout, yeah, yeah. Pre workout, uh, yeah, the, yeah. There are products, but as I said, black coffee. I tend to not eat too close to the to the to, to my training. I, I like to eat about two hours before I train, so I make sure I go to the to the gym with a flat stomach. Uh, my digestion is not heavy, and uh, I don't have you know leftovers of food in my stomach, especially when we do big muscle groups, so we don't throw up. If you know bodybuilders uh, train intense, you know yourself. You do leg session or heavy back session, and uh, you don't want to waste your food on the floor. So, <laughs> but you said that you eat it like potatoes. Is that like sweet potatoes or normal? Just one no, bacon just normal, or just normal potato? I just make sure I eat the baked potato. Uh, I don't eat white uh, only. I make sure there is a skin, and I make sure there is some kind of green. I make sure there is some kind of uh, fiber with the extra carbohydrate because I know white potato is pretty simple, but if you eat it with the skin, that's an extra fiber, and if you eat it with, uh, with uh, some greens, that's an extra fiber, and that will slow down the digestion of, of potato. Okay, how much water do you drink in off-season? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't wait around until I'm thirsty. Uh, obviously, if you feel thirsty, you're dehydrated, so I believe I drink about six, seven liters of water a day. Yeah, and during, well, most probably even more, but I don't count it. You know, I just, I just uh, attempt to just put half a liter, which is a pint, in shake, and whenever, I, whenever I'm around the sink, get it out. Water is very important, so it, it can affect your training massively. If you go to the gym and you forget to drink water, you can have at least, you can expect at least 15 percent less intensity. And you get tired very quick. Yeah, because I, I, I'm just training, sometimes, you know, sometimes I train people through the internet and Skype and stuff and uh, there's this guy who, whose teacher told him not to drink water while he's training, you know. So I said to, the, said to him, that, tell your teacher that he must be crazy because if you train in a gym and you don't drink water, you, one thing, your, your physical ability will go down a little straight away, you get dehydrated and you might even faint. Because I have a different training split, uh, and I hit my mm, every muscle group twice a week. Now I I do about ten sets for for, for small muscle group and about 
13 sets for the big muscle group. Because I hit it twice a week, I don't do too many sets and not too many exercises yet. So uh, it, 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 it basically, you get enough stimulation for, from say three exercises and then you can hit it again in five days time. Yeah? Because I was doing too much cardio and I didn't spend enough time with weights. I was losing muscle fullness, I was getting too flat. So with new coach, because he watched me at the Mr. England and then he saw me at the Mr. Universe and he said something happened, it was wrong, he said too much cardio and not enough weight. Yeah, so that's what we're trying to do now in off-season, hit every muscle group twice a week, but not full blast, completely full blast um, on, on, in one session and it splits it into every five days. I mean, I'm not saying not full blast, you're going to hit it hard, but what I mean, you're not going to do 16, 17 sets per, per body part in one session once a week. Yeah? So how long actually are you trying like twice, twice a week, like every single muscle part twice a week from when? You was always trying like that or just started like you were still? Um, actually no, you know, this is what I was saying, it was changed as my diet, the same as my training. Um, I was training normally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday uh, and Saturday, Sunday off. And my Monday training was uh, legs, uh, apart from calves. And then on Tuesday I would do chest and biceps with my calves and then the rest on Wednesday, Thursday I would do back with my traps and stomach and um, Friday I would do shoulders and triceps and then rest and all over again. Now I do 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1, I do chest with my, uh, sorry, I start with legs and I'll have uh, shoulders with it and because I have the opportunity to train in the morning and evening. in the evening. This is the only way the training sessions are split. So I do either shoulders or legs in the morning or opposite. Yeah? And all the other ones I can train together because I'll have enough energy. 